right, all right, I get it. I'll stop playing. Quiet time in the tavern, okay? No, you don't have to kick me out. Just don't touch my loot again, okay? Weird tavern with weird sleepy time people. Makes no sense. Uncultured swine. <sighs> minstrel. They called me Minstrel. I am a bard. And quite a famous one at that. Many think of it as an honor for me to grace their ears with my music. <sighs> Perhaps you've heard of me. You haven't. Okay. I won't hold that against you. Because, uh, you get it. I saw you tapping your foot. You're a fan. Well, fan of mine. What name can I make your autograph out to? Hmm. Quiet when I see. Why so quiet? Unless you have a reason to be so secretive. What are you, some foreign king or mm, a sorcerer? No, a sorcerer wouldn't wear such heavy armor. Perhaps you're a dragon in disguise. Because of the chainmail, it glistens. No, okay. Wait a second. Hmm. Big burly muscles. Oddly colored hair. Weird eyes. You're a witcher. <gasps> I've never met a witcher before. My gosh. No, no, shh. Just sit there and... No, no, just sit there and keep brooding. This is a means for a celebration. Barkeep, barkeep, barkeep. To ale for me and my friend here. All right. Well, did I mention I am a poet? Yes, I write my own songs. I can write songs about you. Yes, all you have to do is, you know, tell me about your adventures. Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> Cheers. Not really a drinker. Um, I'll just uh, sip it in here and there. Ah, oh, you uh, really enjoy your ale. Ah, quite a drinker. Uh, barkeep. Uh, another. For my friend here. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I was saying, uh, or as I was saying, I mean, <clears throat> I am a poet, and um, generally the best uh, inspiration comes from being on the road. Uh, you see, I myself, I don't really have the talent uh, that witchers do. Uh, or sorcerers, for that matter. Usually, I don't defeat any monsters. It's not really my thing. Can't really kill a monster with song, or at least not yet. Well, so if you take me along, I could write songs of your adventures, and you could be famous. Oh, come on. Like Geralt of Rivia. You know, your witcher buddy. I'm sure you're wonderful friends. The white wolf. You know? Like, uh, the song. Yeah, you know the song, Geralt of Rivia. Oh, toss a coin to your witcher. You don't know. You know the song here. I'll sing you at the first verse. No, no, I insist. You're going to love it. Yeah, I'm just going to set this down. Yeah, I, uh, I have to be kind of quiet, though. They, they told me to stop singing, so 
I can't really play my lute along with it, but you're gonna love it. <clears throat> no, shh, it's okay. I'm not gonna play it, I'm just gonna kinda tap on it. Don't worry, they won't hear or kick us out. Shh, I'm doing this for you, okay? <clears throat> when a humble bard was graced to ride along with Geralt of Rivia. That could be you and me, if you play your cards right. Think about it, okay? Put, put you and me in the song, in the adventure. Think about it, okay? <clears throat> Along came this song. And when the white world fought, a silver-tongued devil, his army of elves at his hoofs did they revel. They came after me with masterful deceit. Broke down my loot and they kicked in my teeth. And while the devil's horns minced our tender meat, so cried the witcher, he can't be bleed. Ah, toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, valley of plenty, O oh, valley of plenty. Oh, toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, valley of plenty. He, toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, valley of plenty, O oh, valley of plenty. Oh. Toss a coin to your witcher, a friend of humanity. He... Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Like I said, I could <clears throat> write one for you. Just gotta spin me some tales, you know. Like I said, most likely it would be amazing if um, I could go on these adventures with you. We could be like a dynamic duo. So, what say you? Nothing. You say nothing. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna... Get the... Sorry, just, there's a little bit of dust here. I'm just gonna give you some time to think about it. Think about uh, a barkeep. Ale. Uh, go ahead and drink up. Think about all of our adventures that we could be having. I'm just gonna clean my loot here just a little bit. Man, I'm so out of tune. They touched my loot earlier. Jerks. Oh, yes, I keep very good company. Yes, you know, you're quite lucky. Many bars are very annoying. I'm quite the opposite. I could keep up a very good conversation. Many uh, wonderful, wonderful conversations. I know a lot of things about a lot of things. Oh, my loot. Ah, uh, yes, it comes from... Uh, Far away land. Uh, at least I think so. I got it with um, <clears throat> some unsavory means. But uh, you witches know about that, don't you? I don't mind if you, you know, stop by taverns and drink ale. I'm okay with that. I mean, in fact, I, I would appreciate it because, you know, then I could, you know, sing, spin some tales of our travels, you know, at the different taverns, and I could become a legendary bard. You know, both of us, it's a win-win in this situation. You, a famous witcher, you won't get turned away in any taverns, and me, a legendary bard, and everyone will listen to my songs. Yes. I think that would be great. I don't know why you're so hesitant. Sorry if that was loud. I know it's quiet time. Yeah. 
still quiet. <laughs> well then, I will have no other choice than to write of your unearthly beauty. Yeah, I think that'll do well. A song about a witcher that's so undeniably gorgeous. I think that would also kind of take, take, take a, some sort of fire along the popularity. We'll try it. We'll try it. I brought my, uh, my book. This is where I find my inspiration, or where I write my inspiration. Sometimes I just, you know, get some one-liner that just comes to my head, and I write it down here. Yes. Like I said, very, very, very smart. Very good poet. At least that's what, I, you know, I've been told by many, many, many people. Yeah. here where I can write my beautiful masterpiece of a song that I'm going to make for you. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Okay. Let's see here. So, what do we have to work with here? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Your beautiful butterscotch lips. Yes, luscious. Luscious butterscotch lips. Ugh. Okay, butterscotch lips. Oh, yes, yes. And your eyes, your eyes. Okay, let's see. Your eyes. Not even the moon or the stars could glow quite as bright. Such a beautiful shade of blue, yellow, or it's kind of dark in here, so it's kind of hard to see your uh, eye color. Let's just go with the uh, green. I think it's good for uh, rhyming. So we'll go with green now. That sounds good. Okay, and um, they are framed with such seemingly permanently furrowed chipmunk brows. Um, no, maybe I won't. I'm just kidding. It's not that part. Uh, I'll just I'll say brooding brows. I think that would kind of go well there. Something to do with being stoic. Stoic. Yes. Okay. And, uh, yes. Ah, oh, that jawline. Yes, a jawline. That could cut diamonds. Ah, oh, yes. Lucky. You're very lucky with this unearthly beauty. Hmm. Maybe I should move off of the uh, face and uh, talk about just in general. I think that would go well with the song. Yeah, maybe um, something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. I may say, you are so hot, you put dragon fire to shame. No, n not the temperature. It, it's like a, a metaphor. Okay, all right, you don't get it. Um, let's move away from that. Maybe not that one. Um, I mean, you don't have to get it, but I'll just... Okay, never mind. <clears throat> Something a bit more poetic, maybe. A little bit more poetic. Ah, yes. <clears throat> so long as my lungs do breathe. 
and my heart does beat. I shall proclaim your beauty to all who listen. For for you make my dreams come true. No, not weird dreams. No, it's not like that. Um, okay, now you've kind of tainted that whole line, and I can't think of it any other way. I'll just take that part out. That's okay. No, no, it's fine. You're helping me to refine my 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 song. So, <clears throat> you know, how about uh, how about we move away from your beauty and um. I'll just make up some stories. Gosh. <sighs> okay, well, let me think. So, let me think of some problems that we had before. There was an issue, an issue with the bar guest. Yes, there was a bounty up for a bar guest. Several, in fact. And it was claimed. Might I presume you're the one that defeated the bar guest? You don't have to tell me, I know. It was you. You were a pretty scary, uh, ghost-like, uh, wait, ghost-like dogs that come from the underworld. From the underworld to feast on bodies. Yes, that makes them seem really scary. Maybe fearless, fearless beasts that cannot be poisoned. scary, all right. And you defeated them. Let's say, like, ten of them. I think that would be good. Listen, every good song is a little bit, um, made up. Or, uh, not necessarily made up, but, uh, exaggerated. Ah, trust me, this is fine. You defeated ten of them, okay? Ten focused. You're gonna get so many jobs with this song. It's gonna be wonderful. Okay, and uh, okay, so let me think. Issues that we've had recently. Maybe even outside of the area. I'm trying to think of what I've heard. Uh, yes, okay, in the swamp there was a cockadium. Cockadium? How do you pronounce it? I don't even know. Um, yes, I believe someone of your build and hair color may have defeated that weird plant thing. Um, yes. Now let me think. So, swamp. Sticky, sickly, scary, dark swamp area. Ugh, gross. I would never want to go there. But, you know, if, if you go there for a quest or something... I will definitely be uh, accompanying you no matter what. Don't worry about it. Okay, um, so killed, you killed the, the vicious crocodile in the swamp. Actually, I hate that word. Let me think. Okay. Cursed, hateful, plant monster. Um, much like overgrown asparagus. Yes, it's getting really good. Um, maybe, maybe not so, mm, no, I think that's good. I, you know what, I don't want to, like, usually the first thing that pops into your head is the best, so. Yeah, 
Yes, that's good. Very good. You like what you hear so far? <sighs> Very good. I'll just stop right there. I'm getting kind of tired after all this songwriting. I'm gonna set this down here. Have you given any more thought as to uh, whether or not you'd like to uh, take me on your adventures? Yes, you are a bit drunker and a bit more agreeable, I see. Perfect. Yes, I will do just fine in your group of uh, Avengers or, or heroes. Mm, I could be a hero myself. <gasps> Maybe I could even get a dagger. Mm. Yes, and you could teach me how to use it. I mean, I'm a quick learner, trust me. You know, it didn't take me too long to teach myself how to be a bard. You know, many, they, they go to colleges and things, and I taught myself, oh my gosh, I'm gonna need to clean my loot. I'm just gonna get really good at it. Like, really good with it. You know, in preparation for uh, all the shows that I'm going to be playing on our, on our travels. Yeah, I keep uh, these with me to get the little intricacies. A bit more talkative, I see. Good, good, good. This is a start of a beautiful friendship. So yeah, I uh, should probably um, warn you though, since you've already agreed, you can't you know take backsies. Um, <clears throat> I don't have much uh, money, but I figured, um, you know. I could uh, sing for money along the way, and uh, you could just spot me for the first few adventures. What do you think? Ah, oh, no take backs. <laughs> yeah, you're so gracious. I appreciate that. Okay, let's go get in here. Sometimes it gets really dusty. Who even knows what the inside is like? Oh, I can play it. <laughs> Just because it's quiet time, you know, I, I can't really show you, but uh, I, I can definitely play it. I, I uh, absolutely know what I'm doing. You know, you can tell from the singing uh, that we did earlier that I'm actually quite good at it. You think I'll need a code name? You know, like Geralt has the White Wolf, and I'm sure you have your own code name. Is Wolf involved? Not all witches have wolves involved. I mean, I sort of assumed since the coin has like the wolf on it. Well. I'm thinking that I'm going to need a code name too. Maybe uh, something to do with music. Um, mm, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of lame, but <sighs> you'll think of one more. You or me? Yes. Okay. Or you know what? Let's let the people think of it. Yeah, all my wonderful fans. I'm sure they'll come up with wonderful names for me. I mean, I already have many wonderful fans, but, you know, like, more fans in the future and things. Hey, you're looking really tired. Perhaps you should, uh, lie down or something? Get a room or whatever. Oh, wow. You're loaded. Whoa. <laughs> I definitely have the jackpot here. Well, I would sing you a nighttime fall asleep song or whatever, but of course they have that weird music band that they seem to have just made up today. I don't know. I don't 
don't know if I trust them. Maybe I could get away with it. One little, one little song. Maybe I'll just reprise my song from earlier. Sing you to sleep with my pipes. Oh, don't worry, I insist. Pass a coin to your winter, O oh, valley of plenty, O oh, valley of plenty. Pass a coin to your winter, a friend of humanity. Pass a coin to your witcher, O oh, valley of plenty, O oh, valley of plenty. Oh, toss a coin to your witcher, a friend of humanity. Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, valley of plenty. Valley of plenty, oh, toss a coin to your witcher, a friend of humanity.